Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor at Wyzant, and we're answering this question today submitted by a student. I have a feeling this student is in Algebra 2, maybe something like that, maybe pre-calc. This is leading up to a very important idea in calculus, but it doesn't quite get there. And we'll talk about that uh, at the end. Let's just go through the mechanics of the problem. Uh, we have this function. It's not doesn't come out very well, but this is just 6x squared plus 7. So I'll just fill that in to make it easier for you to read. This 2 is an exponent. Now f of a, all we do here is we're going to plug. Actually, I think I'll just use some color here just to make it a little more interesting visually. We're just going to plug a into this expression. So a is replacing x, so it's just 6a squared plus 7. f of a plus h. This is all we're doing. It's another replacement rule. We're just replacing x with a plus h. This is called, what's inside this is called the argument of the function. And the argument can be a single variable, but it can also be an expression. But it's just, you just use the replacement rule. So it's going to be 6 times a plus h quantity squared plus 7. And if we just FOIL this out, we're going to get 6 times a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 7. And now we're going to take the difference. This is called the difference quotient. Uh, this expression here, um, it's, it's just what we found. It's going to be this minus this expression here minus that uh, all over h. So let's write that out here. And so this is going to be, I'm just going to distribute the 6 here when I write it out. So it's going to be 6a squared plus 12ah plus 6h squared plus 7. And now we're going to subtract f of a, which is here. So it's going to be minus 6a squared plus 7 and then divide by h. OK, so there's just a little bit of algebra here. So since the 6a squares will cancel with each other, let me uh, use some more color to show that. So there it goes, and that goes, and then the 7s will cancel. What we're left with is 12 a h plus 6 h squared all over h. And I'm just going to bring out an h here. So it's going to be h times 12a plus 6h all over h. So those h's cancel. And I'll switch to another color. I like using colors, as you can see. I just think it helps keep things interesting. Uh, so the H is cancel, and you're left with 12A plus 6H. And um, that's the difference quotient. Now, why do we care so much about the difference quotient, and why is it so important? It's important because if we take the limit, so I better use another color, because now I'm going to put red here because you're not supposed to worry about this until you take calculus. But if we take the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, that is actually the first derivative of the function, which we write f prime of a. 
evaluated at the point A. So I'm not going to take the time to get into this. This is actually a very interesting lesson to do, but I'm not going to I'm not going to take you through it because it's not called for here. But um, that's what you're leading up to. I always like to show students why this why something is important and put it in context. So the context of the difference quotient is that in and of itself, it's not particularly interesting. But when you take this limit um, of the difference quotient, uh, you're, you're getting something called the first derivative. And this is actually the slope of the tangent line uh, at uh, a when x is a and y is uh, f of a. So you'll, you'll figure this out when you get to calculus. But in the meantime, please get good at this. Um, it's really just straightforward algebra, and you shouldn't have any trouble. If you were to take this derivative as h goes to 0, this term would uh, go away because this would become 0. And, you, and you'd find that f prime of a is 12a. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. This is a pretty quick and easy one. I'll see you again next time.